Matai chapter 21. And when they drew near to Hierosolima and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of the Olives, then Yeshua sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village that is over against you, and immediately ye shall find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if any one say aught to you, ye shall say, The Lord is having a need of them, and immediately he will send them. Now this is become that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Eon, Behold, thy king cometh to thee, meek and riding upon a donkey, and upon a colt, a son of a beast of burden. And the disciples went and did even as Yeshua appointed them, and brought the donkey and the colt, and put on them their garments, and he sat thereon. And the most part of the multitude spread their garments in the way, and others cut branches from the trees, and spread them in the way. And the multitudes that went before him, and that followed, cried, saying, Hoshana to the son of Dawid, blessed is he that cometh in the name of Lord Yahweh, Hoshana in the highest. And when he was come into Yerushalem, all the city was stirred, saying, Who is this? And the multitudes said, This is the prophet Yeshua from Nazareth of Galilee. And Yeshua entered into the temple and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold the doves. And he saith to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but ye, ye are making it a den of robbers. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children that were crying in the temple and saying, Hoshana to the son of Dawid, they were moved with indignation and said to him, Hearest thou what these are saying? And Yeshua saith to them, Yea, not even ever did ye read out of the mouth of infants and sucklings, Thou hast perfected praise. And he left them and went forth out of the city to Bethaniah and lodged there. Now in the morning as he returned to the city, he hungered. And seeing a fig tree by the wayside, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only. And he saith to it, Not any more out of thee should fruit become into the eon. And immediately the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree immediately wither away? And Yeshua answered and said to them, Amen, I say to you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do what is done to the fig tree, but even if ye shall say to this mountain, Be thou taken up and cast into the sea, it shall be done. 
and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And when he was come into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority art thou doing these things? And who gave thee this authority? And Yeshua answered and said to them, I also will ask you one question, which, if ye tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The baptism of your Hanen, whence was it? From sky or from men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from sky, he will say to us, Why then did ye not believe him? But if we shall say from men, We fear the multitude, for all hold your Hanen as a prophet. And they answered Yeshua and said, We know not. He also said to them, Neither tell I you by what authority I am doing these things. But what think ye? A man had two children, and he came to the first and said, Child, go work today in the vineyard. And he answered and said, I am not willing. But afterward he repented himself and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Which of the two did the will of his father? They say, The first. Yeshua saith to them, Amen. I say to you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of the God before you. For your Hanen came to you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him, and ye, when ye saw it, did not even repent yourselves afterward, that ye might believe him. Hear another parable. There was a man that was a householder, who planted a vineyard, and set a hedge about it, and digged a winepress in it, and built a tower, and let it out to land workers, and went into another country. And when the season of the fruits drew near, he sent his bondservants to the land workers to receive his fruits. And the land workers took his bondservants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other bond servants more than the first, and they did to them in like manner. But afterward he sent to them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But the land workers, when they saw the son, said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and take his inheritance. And they took him, and cast him forth out of the vineyard, and killed him. When therefore the Lord of the vineyard shall come, what will he do to those land workers? They say to him, He will miserably destroy those miserable men and will let out the vineyard to other land workers, who shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Yeshua saith to them, Not even ever did ye read in the Scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected, the same was made the head of the corner. This was from Lord Yahweh, and it is marvellous in our eyes. Therefore say I to you, the kingdom of the God shall be taken away from you, and shall be given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. 
And he that falleth on this stone shall be broken to pieces, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will pulverize him and scatter as dust. And when the chief priests and the Purishaya heard his parables, they perceived that he spoke of them. And when they sought to lay hold on him, they feared the multitudes, because they took him for a prophet.